Good morning and welcome to the first ever Bush School graduation ceremony online. I am Dina Bella. It's my great pleasure to be your host. Uh, this is our eighth graduation since the founding of the school. Uh, I'd like to begin with a special guest who is on his way in. Um, and uh, here he comes. Our special guest. We have our special guest coming in today. Come on in, special guest. It's Red. Welcome, Red. Come on in. And um, Red is joining all of you virtually. As you can see, um, we have a photograph of each and every one of our graduates uh, seated where you would have been seated if it weren't for this lockdown. Uh, Red, take any of the seats that isn't already occupied. You can all see Professor Widmer standing up head and shoulders above everybody else as usual. Um, and then the rest of you, either your graduation pictures, your professors are there, your pet, your baby pictures. You are with us in, um, in spirit, we hope, and in picture, and hopefully live and virtually as well. Now, what I'd like to do is invite Father Lewis to do the invocation. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, Father and of the Holy Spirit. Um, I want to get your picture Amen. up. So, so, we're unmuting you, and we're getting you up on screen. There we go. Go ahead, Father. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, Father of all wisdom, we give you thanks for having enlightened the minds and enkindled the hearts of a new generation of scholars, whom we honor today for their academic achievements. Fortify them with your grace, we humbly pray, so that they may readily undertake every good work and thereby give an effective witness to your kingdom in our midst. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, Father Lewis. It's great to have you with us. The, um, now, for next we will have, uh, so we have two uh, co-valedictorians this year, Matt Brennan and Lizzie Rich. 
Uh, Matt's going to open up our ceremony and Lizzie will do the, some closing remarks. Uh, Matt, many of you know him, is a dual uh, degree in accounting and philosophy. He's from Onalaska, Wisconsin. And let me bring Matt to our screen. He's properly attired. Okay. Matt, I'm glad to see you got your, your hat on, your cap. And uh, let's get you unmuted. And here's Matt. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dean Abella. Um, as a proud member of the class of 2020, uh, I want to welcome everyone, uh, both graduates, families, faculty, staff, and friends to this year's virtual diploma ceremony for the Bush School of Business. Uh, obviously, this is not at all how any of us expected this day to go, uh, but I hope you're all able to celebrate in a special way today all of what we've accomplished in these last four years. Uh, of course, none of these accomplishments would have been possible without the faculty and staff of the Bush School. So to them, I extend my gratitude on behalf of the class of 2020. Uh, in a special way, I would like to thank the accounting department, which graciously took me in as a sophomore and have carried me on ever since. Um, additionally, to all the families of the graduates watching today, and in particular, my own family in Wisconsin, know how much your support has meant to all of us graduates. Once again, I just want to say congratulations to the rest of the class of 2020, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of today's programs. Thank you. Thank you very much, Matt. It's great to have you with us virtually, and congratulations again. Uh, throughout this ceremony, so this is, this is live. We didn't pre-record this. We're doing this live uh, to give you as much of, as close of an experience as possible. Uh, so throughout this, to make it interactive, feel free to post pictures of yourselves celebrating at home to hashtag Bush 2020 grad, hashtag Bush 2020 grad. For those of you who are watching and don't know us intimately, that's B-U-S-C-H. So hashtag Bush 2020 grad. Um, and feel free to post pictures and we'll try to share some of those as we, as we go along. Or if you have any questions or anything or like to send kudos or congratulations to your classmates, that's the channel to use. So let me welcome you all again. I want to begin with uh, a little story uh, that is poignant for me and I hope will be interesting for you uh, in these strange and somewhat dark times. The, um, this is, those of you, you all graduates have been with me in class uh, this past spring or, or in the fall, you know I'm some avid fan of boats. So this is a story about a boat, a ship, um, and it's a story about a darker time, um, about the island of Malta, which is where I'm from, the summer of 1942, in some ways the darkest hours of World War II. At this time, Malta was the last unconquered space in the Mediterranean Sea. Just 60 miles to the north was the island of Sicily, where the Axis powers were based, both Italian and German air forces. They were just a few minutes away by plane, and they bombed the island regularly, two, sometimes three times a day. In the year of 1941, the island was bombed with over a thousand air raids. The, um, the biggest problem was getting the supplies to the islands. They had to come by sea, by, by convoy, the food and the fuel they needed to survive, uh, by convoy over a thousand miles from Alexandria or uh, from, from another thousand miles from, from Gibraltar in the west under constant attack by, from submarines and, and, and bombers. In early 1942, several convoys made the attempt, but ship after ship was sunk or damaged so badly that they had to turn back. In one case, two supply ships actually made it to the islands, but before they could be unloaded, they were sunk by bombers right there in the harbor in full view of all the Maltese people who had gathered there to, to welcome them in. At this point, it was calculated that there was enough food on the island left to last to the end of August, at which point the island would be forced to surrender or starve to death. On August 10th, a convoy of 14 ships left Gibraltar, including the ship that I want to talk about, the USS Ohio. This was a large but also very fast supply ship, and it contained in it the bulk of the supplies, mostly food. The convoy was under constant attack. On the first day, first one ship and then another was sunk. On the second day, the Ohio itself was hit by a torpedo 
the crew abandoned ship, but she didn't sink. So they reboarded and got her going again. But the intensity of the attacks just kept increasing. And in a major assault on the fourth day, the Ohio was hit several times, including by two bombers that crash landed on, on her, one of which blew off her rudder and part of the stern of the ship. Again, they abandoned ship, but again, she refused to sink. So they reboarded and tried to tow her because she was no longer, they couldn't steer her anymore with the rudder blown off. But she was too heavy, so the ropes kept breaking. Finally, what they ended up doing was they sandwiched her between two destroyers. And I am going to show you a picture of that, um, which somebody took. There we go. So that's the USS Ohio limping into the harbor and, and the island of Malta. You can still see the destroyers on either side, basically keeping her afloat. And you can see her deck in the middle, almost right at the, at the sea level. This is uh, 9.30 a.m. the morning of August 14th, 1942, just days away from surrender or mass starvation. Half the island showed up to cheer her in, going crazy with joy, as you can imagine. They were able to unload all of the cargo and the island was saved. So I was born and raised on this island. My parents, as young children, were part of that crowd welcoming that ship in. The USS Ohio saved their liberty that day and possibly also their lives. As a result, Malta was able to continue the fight, take some crucial steps in, in reversing the, the Second World War. The, um, so we, we too faced some challenges, obviously not, not as severe as what they faced back then, um, but within these challenges, just like then, there is opportunity. You each have been formed in virtue. You have been equipped to become a force for good. We want you to be like the USS Ohio. Be unsinkable. Despite these challenges that you face, despite a graduation, an end of your time here that you didn't expect and was not, you would not have chosen, if you persevere in this difficult time, you will come out ahead of those who, feeling sorry for themselves, are just sitting at home and doing nothing. And we know that you, you have the tools and the character to do that, and we look forward to seeing you flourish even despite all of these challenges. And to encourage you with this, on a more cheerful note, I'd now like to share a video with you that some of our alumni, of whom you now number, um, have shared, have prepared for you. Here we go. Class of 2020. Try that again. Class of 2020, this is for you. You deserve to be celebrated. You might not have a traditional commencement ceremony, but we still want to honor you. So we aren't your commencement speaker, but we are your new family. The Bush School alumni family. Us. All of us. All of us. All of us. Your experience at CUA was cut short and that hurts. It happened quickly and probably left you in shock. Even though this isn't easy and was unexpected, together we can get through this. Because we are a family. Us. Us. All of us. The Bush School alumni family. These past few years have been some of the most fun. Of your life, they've also challenged you. Pushing you beyond your limits. To grow. And become. A virtuous business leader. You have mastered the various disciplines of business. Like balancing a budget. Designing a marketing campaign. Selling a pen or complex technology solutions. Analyzing data on Bloomberg terminals. Problem solving. Or launching your own business. But most importantly, put the person at the center of business. Coworkers, employees, shareholders, customers. They are the why and the who behind business. This is your noble vocation. To lead by example. To lead by serving. To be a virtuous business leader. Someday, you'll look back at this time. When the world changed. And recognize 
it made you stronger. Now, as you look forward, you join a bigger family. And together, we are a force for good. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the Bush School Alumni Family. Congratulations, Bush School graduates. We couldn't be more proud of you. You are now ready to be a force for good in the world. May God bless you and stay in touch. Now, I would like to introduce Professor Stu McKay to read the names of the graduates of our Master of Science in Business program. Bringing up names. This is Stu McKay, it's all yours. Thank you, Dean Abella, and good morning. On behalf of Bill Conlon, Emily Casey, and all the professors of the Master of Science in Business program, it's my privilege to introduce the MSB class of 2020. To the graduates, someone moved our cheese. Boy, did they move our cheese. And you stayed in the maze. You examined every nook and cranny. And in the end, you found your cheese. You completed eight virtual capstone projects with live clients. And all of those clients were so impressed with your dedication and the recommendations that you left for their businesses. I could not be more proud of the per perseverance that you showed during this time, and I thank you for that. Now, please join me in honoring these individuals and future business leaders as I call their names. Kayla Bowie. Henry Carmichael, Jimmy Cassidy, Valerie Cousineau, Ryan Kramer, Xavier Crawley, Joseph Daly, Christina de Cesaris. Christina put a lot of nice pictures of the group. You see our, our orientation crews in the lower left of your screen. The, uh, the Thanksgiving dinner that was served at a men's homeless shelter and some of the teammates. Thank you for that, Christina. Rachel de Rose. April Dietrich. Jorge Gonzalez Mier. Nick Revermont. Nick's family, who owns the Kivra Winery in Northern Virginia, sponsored one of our capstone projects. Thank you, Nick, and your family. Kyle Hefferman. Katie Hamilton. Kara Hearn, Thomas Herder, Jr. Thomas was a member of the Catholic University basketball team this year. Matt and Kayo. Matt also showed a picture of our bowling experience in, uh, during our New York City trip. And there's Matt uh, with his uh, 
mom or a grandmom. I'm not sure which. Thank you, Matt. Mary O'Jean with his family. Tim Jones. Ellen Kovac. Dimitri Lapis. Maddie Lynch. Maddie also has some pictures from our New York trip and from networking experiences. And uh, looks like lower left our trip to visit L'Oreal and one of our company visits in New York City. Carissa Mansour. This was our orientation picture taken on the steps of the Bush School back in August. Colleen McInerney. Sean Moriarty. You see Sean with his wife, Erin, and babies. Thank you, Sean. And for the first time, we had two brothers in our cohort. Harris Moriarty. Harris with his wife, Claire. Harris, if you're listening, that means the baby probably has not arrived yet, but will be here any minute. So the best to you and Claire. Mark Mosley. Nia Muhammad. Nia is earning a dual degree for MSB and also her master's in architecture. Congratulations, Nia. Jack Murphy. Jack always kept things together with a smile in the program. Keola Paragas, Keola's fiance, Egan Rawls, is also graduating today from Auburn University. Congratulations to you both. Francisco Rincon Naros. Francisco from Spain joined us and gave us wonderful perspective on European business. Joseph Saad. Natalie Salgado. John Volpe. Eustace Forward. Alexandra Wassel. Alexandra also put some nice pictures of the group, the various activities that we enjoyed together this year. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Master of Science in Business class of 2020. You will no doubt be hearing from them again in the future. Dr. Bella, thank you. Thank you, Professor Mackay. I will now go through the degrees for Bachelor of Arts. Uh, you'll notice, as, as we did in the MSB, but in, in many of the ones to come, that we offered an opportunity to our graduates if they wanted to send pictures or quotes or comments that they'd like us to add um, as we announce their names. So in some cases, you'll see that. Some of them also shared uh, the jobs that they had where they were going after. So, so where there are those, we try to highlight those. So we have a Bachelor of Arts in Economics, uh, goes to Ken, Kensinu uh, Pukutka. We have Bachelor of Arts in International Business. To award these degrees, I'm going to call upon uh, Professor Canizaro. Professor Canizaro, like Professor Mackay, is also here present. We're all diligently observing six feet of social distance, so I'll step away from the podium. Thank you very much. I'd like to announce uh, the degrees for Bachelor of Arts in International Business for 2020. Uh, just a brief congratulations to you all. Uh, you may recall at the very end of our class in International Business, we discuss what it takes uh, to be a, a successful global manager. And we say the most difficult part of the job is developing what we call psychological capital, the ability to step outside of your comfort zone and deal with um, unforeseen situations. And we say this is the most difficult to develop because you can only gain this type of capital by doing. And I think that you have all uh, done this to an exceptional degree. And if the test of whether or not you're going to succeed in international business 
is based on whether or not you can face these types of challenges. You have all already passed. So congratulations on uh, your resilience in the face of uh, this situation. Um, let me read the names. Gabriela Archuri, who is also a minor in Spanish and Italian studies. Congratulations. Sean Martin Hoffing. Charlie Kramer. Eileen Ortega Carcamo. Emily Prendergast. And Michael Wagner, who has already, as you can see, extensively traveled the world. Congratulations to all of you. To quote Magner, uh, to quote Michael Wagner, you did it, and we faculty are so proud. Um, and now to announce the Bachelor of Science in Accounting graduates. Um, unfortunately, Professor Kirst was going to be doing this remotely. Um, but has had some technical issues signing in. So we're going to have uh, Dean Wrench uh, read the names in his place. Dean Wrench is here, come on. The following students have earned a Bachelor of Science degree in accounting. Emmanuel Acefa. Maura Beetson. Madeline. Right art. Matthew Brennan. Angela Chun. Mackenzie Early. Darby Grant. Ed Huertas. Brendan Kearney. Boy Wynn. Courtney O'Connell. Bradley Pirro. Robert Rossetto. Thomas Singleton. Ni Tron. Sam Yarasavage. Congratulations to all. Thank you, Dean Wrench. Um, now to read the names of those students earning Bachelor of Science in Economics. Uh, James Harrington. And now the, um, those earning a Bachelor of Science in International Economics and Finance, uh, uh, Carly Philbin, Sarah Sheridan, and I will now read the names of the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration in Finance. Nick Ania, Stefano Bellucci, Richard Campbell, Colin Cunningham, John Donahue, Adam Eitel, Brian Jeremy Philbin, Isaiah Fust, Miguel Gonzalez, Evan Holmes, Victoria Hopp, give thanks to the Bush School and her professors and to her family and friends. Kyle makes a funny joke about his last name, Corona. Not a fun time to have this last name, he says. Or we love you anyway, despite your name. Andrew Lorenzano. Brendan Lanou. Madeline Lombardo. Kayla Maloney. Ali Massa. Bill Mayhew. 
Denise Mazzola, Murphy McGorry, John Paul Monahan, Joe Monahan, Trevor Moore, Sierra Musumeci, Jake O'Donohue, Colleen O'Reilly. Colleen was a member of the Dean Student Advisory Council. Thank you for your service on that, Colleen. Jenna Pashley, Anthony Ricci, Griffin Smith, Nick Spinelli. Nick represented the Bush School as, in the student, as our representative in the Student Senate for two years and also competed in the most successful international business ethics and sustainability, sustainability case competition. I uh, was very successful there. Tom Torp, Jack Vispoli, Evan Walsh, Kyle Weber, Bill Wilson, Michael Zellner. We will now have I will now attempt to patch in um, Professor Egan, who is going to read the names of the, of the marketing graduates. You're going to have to do this blind as well, Professor Egan. Over to you. I can work blind. Thank you, Dean Nabella. Um, so on behalf of the entire marketing and sales faculty, warmest congratulations to the marketing class of 2020. And they are? Nora Caliban, James Carroll, Ali Criscolo, Colleen Corkin, Cecilia Cromer, and Cecilia is going to work for as a sales development representative at Storyblocks. Ryan Curry, and Ryan will, going to be, will, will be going to join Memory Blue again as a sales development rep. Molly Delory. Krisha Ann Examen. Jack Farley. Austin Finnegan. Emma Flanagan, and Emma's going to join Hydrogen Sh Struggles in Chicago as a technology consultant. Ben Gardner. Gabriela Gonzalez. Katerina Greco, who's, who will be working for Bazuto as a sales and marketing associate. Kimi Hata. Katie Hollingsworth. Wendelin Iroma L. Cameron Crowberger. And Cameron will again be working as a sales development rep at Cvent in Tyson's Corner. Nolan Lundholm. Rachel Mascolo, Paige McQuinlan, who will be going to join Trion Group as an associate producer. Xavier Mills, who will be working as a sales development rep for Elastic. Ryan Monaghan. Liz Knapp. Esmeralda Neri Zamudio. Jack Oman. And Jack's going to be working as an SDR at True Optic. Katie O'Neill. Marial Pisinich. Lizzie Rich. Jackie Scarlett. Kevin Stein, Emily Sullivan, 
Segi Teferi. Dom Watts. And Dom's going to be pursuing a master's in emergency and disaster management. And Madeline Winter. Congratulations to all. Thank you very much, Professor Egan. We we'll now call on Professor Seegers to read the names of the graduates in strategy management and operations. Professor Seegers, over to you. The following students are awarded the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration degree in strategy management, and operations. Okinbo Adedendi. Healy Armitage. Adele Hassan Alakorashi. George Baez. Rachel Bokar. Denzel Boyakai. William Chester, Patrick Dwyer, Brandon Easton, Brian Easton, Tom Fenton, Anna Aaron, Sean Holleran, Zaria Jackson, Elizabeth Johnson, Christian Jones, Nina Kasputis, Austin Larson, Robert Levin III, Austin Litovsky, Taylor Mansour, Daniela Montesano, Joseph Nagash, Benjamin Reese, Callie Silvestri, James Turner IV, Komani Turner, James Weiler. Congratulations to the graduates in strategy management and operations in the class of 2020. Thank you, Professor Seegers. And now um, we're gonna do two more things. Um, to bring our graduation ceremony to a close. In a moment, I'm going to introduce Elizabeth Riss, Rich, Lizzie Rich, who is our also co-valedictorian. And then after that, we're going to do a joint uh, throwing the caps in the air ceremony. Now, you'll, you'll know or you'll have expected that if we were all meeting here together, as we hope to do in, in August, we'll do this, that as soon as you graduate, you get to throw your cap in the air. Well, if you're sitting at home wearing a cap, I'm going to ask you after Lizzie is done, I'm going to invite everybody who's in the auditorium with me to stand here six feet apart and we're going to throw our caps in the air and we want you to do the same at home and video it. So get somebody in your family to video you throwing your cap in the air and if you don't have a graduation cap, throw a baseball cap or a cushion or a piece of paper, it doesn't matter, but video it and then post it to Instagram with our um, handle hashtag Bush 2020 grad. And then what we're gonna to try to do is piece all of those videos together and post them on the website. So you'll have a, a memento of your virtual uh, cap throwing event. Okay, so now allow me to introduce uh, Lizzie Rich. I'm unmuting you, Lizzie, and let's get you up on the screen. There's Lizzie, over Hello. to you. Hello. Um, hi. It is with utmost humility that I stand here to represent my fellow classmates. As our graduation ceremony comes to a close, I'd like to say a few thank yous. 
Thank you to all our parents who have continuously stood by us, listening as we talk through our challenges and hurdles and joys, and for taking us back into our homes and into your hearts as we physically moved in as second semester college seniors. The landscape looks a little different than what we had planned for, but we know we can navigate it standing on your shoulders. We are indebted to you and will be forever grateful for the gift you are in our lives. A huge thank you to all of our faculty and staff. This wasn't the graduation any of us expected, but it is definitely one that will go down in history and hopefully one that we will get to look back on and feel lucky to have been a part of. Over these last four years, you have worked tirelessly to help us understand everything from how to balance a spreadsheet to how to plan a full marketing campaign, preparing us for whatever career we are headed to. But more than that, you have invested in us as individuals and have formed us into virtuous people ready to enter the business world as a force for good. As we become alumni, we will strive to build up the Bush School name in honor of what you have done for us. Seniors, as I look at our community, I see not only a graduating class, but also the church, the actual body of Christ. Seeing everyone on here one last time, I am incredibly grateful to all of you for helping me recognize this. Let's be the face of Christ that our world so desperately seeks. And now I move my tassel to join you in the ranks of the Bush School alumni family. All glory to God. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lizzie. That was delightful. Thank you very much. Um, okay, we now have the virtual hat throwing, cap throwing moment. So I'll invite all of the people present in the auditorium to stand six feet apart here in the auditorium. And everybody at home, we want you to video this, video yourselves doing this. So everybody stand up and, and toss your cap. On the count of three, one, two, three, hurrah! Congratulations, Bush School grads. I now, I now call our virtual graduation to a close. And to wrap us up, I am going to run a second time the um, graduation, uh, the alumni video, in case any of you started late. In case any of you started late and um, missed it. I can do that. One second, and here we go. So we look forward to seeing all of you, we hope, on August 7th live and we wish you a very good summer. Class of 2020, this is for you. Class of 2020, this is for you. You deserve to be celebrated. You might not have a traditional commencement ceremony, but we still want to honor you. So we aren't your commencement speaker, but we are your new family. The Bush School alumni family. Us. All of us. All of us. All of us. Your experience at CUA was cut short and that hurts. It happened quickly and probably left you in shock. Even though this isn't easy and was unexpected, together, we can get through this. Because we are a family. Us. Us. All of us. The Bush School alumni family. These past few years have been some of the most fun. Of your life, they've also challenged you. Pushing you beyond your limits. To grow. And to become. A virtuous business leader. You have mastered the various disciplines of business. Like balancing a budget. Designing a marketing campaign. Selling a pen or complex technology solutions. 
analyzing data on Bloomberg terminals, problem solving, or launching your own business. But most importantly, put the person at the center of business. Coworkers, employees, shareholders, customers. They are the why and the who behind business. This is your noble vocation. To lead by example. To lead by serving. To be a virtuous business leader. Someday, you'll look back at this time. When the world changed. And recognize. It made you stronger. Now, as you look forward. You join a bigger family. And together, we are a force for good. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the Bush School alumni family. Congratulations, Bush School graduates. We couldn't be more proud of you. You are now ready to be a force for good in the world. May God bless you and stay in touch.